The WWE is not simply wrestling, but also entertainment. And in an attempt to deliver some excellent moments on TV, the wrestlers sometimes have to go beyond their role to produce something valuable. Here are some instances where WWE superstars went overboard and impersonated other superstars. In this video, we will talk about seven unexpected impersonators in the WWE. But before that, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon for more amazing content. Let's get to it! Number 7. The Miz as The Rock a once-in-a-lifetime WrestleMania event between John Cena and The Rock was planned. So on the March 14, 2011 edition of WWE Raw, Brodius Clay and his coach Alberto Del Rio surprised Cena in the ring. The Miz entered the ring disguised as The Rock, the people's champion, just as Cena's situation worsened. It appeared The Miz was trying to let John Cena know he was not happy with what was happening in the WWE. Number 6. Triple H as Vince McMahon One of Triple H's better performances was at the D-Generation X reunion with Shawn Michaels in 2006. The conflict between DX, Vince, and Shane McMahon became very heated and very personal. The best part of the angle was when Triple H and Michaels impersonated Vince and Shane respectively. Triple H had the Vince impression locked down tight based on their real-life relationship. As Triple H imitated his father-in-law's mannerisms, the crowd erupted into laughter and shouts. Number 5. AJ Lee Mimicking Nikki Bella Maurice may have garnered attention for portraying Nikki on SmackDown, but AJ did it in a bout against Brie Bella years earlier. At the time, AJ was the Divas Champion, and AJ emerged in her outfit, shaking her phony padded rear end like Nikki Bella, because Nikki was portrayed as a terrible heel at the time. Number 3. Kurt Angle as John Cena Kurt Angle has consistently demonstrated his ability to amuse audiences by being someone prepared to put himself in any circumstance. He was happy to put on gear and perform some rhyming to emulate his competitor during his storyline with John Cena. The result was an entertaining section that showed Kurt at his very best. Throughout the course of this narrative, he and Cena had excellent chemistry, with one particular exchange standing out as one of their most endearing moments. Number 2. Miz and Maurice as Cena and Nikki Bella Both of these couples had a fantastic storyline for WrestleMania 33 and pushed each other throughout the narrative, which involved the four dealing with many genuinely personal difficulties. The Miz and Maurice went all out by dressing up like Cena and Bella. They were making every effort to mock them, and they did a fantastic job. It helped to make this a memorable section where the two resembled their competitors. And finally, at number one, Kevin Owens as Stone Cold Steve Austin. Kevin Owens was the most recent to impersonate Stone Cold Steve Austin in professional wrestling. The fans went absolutely berserk when Stone Cold's music hit, expecting him to appear, all in the name of accentuating their WrestleMania 38 plot. But when Kevin Owens walked through the curtains, there was a chorus of boos, which was a clever angle to take. Owen gave his rendition of Stone Cold the full attention, donning a bald cap, switching his ring gear, and picking up and putting down Stone Cold's notorious beverages, acting the part to the letter. Hey, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Imitation is the greatest form of flattery, making these impersonations memorable to the audience. What better way to get audiences talking? If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell icon. And of course, slam that like button, share it with your friends and family, and cut a promo in the comments section below.